Brazil. It's beautiful. Who said that? Come on, it's Boba. Nah, nah, I can't get caught up on that, man. I gotta run fast. I gotta PR this weekend. Gotta stay focused, man. Get that almond milk. Let's go. Come on, they're healthy. It's veggie straws. We can leave all of that. All right, fine. Just veggie straws, just veggie straws. But if I come down this aisle, I need to wrap up, man, like Bird Box. I'm not trying to get tempted by all this junk. Okay, all right, only veggie straws, only veggie straws. Yeah, yeah, keep coming, that's right. You're Stay in focus. Okay, wrap the veggie straws, check it out. Now take your blindfold off and get it! Oreos, Reese's Pieces, Ben and Jerry's, Cookies and Cream, White Claws, Cupcakes. I don't drink soda. I don't even eat these. This trash will have me running 22 seconds in my next race. <laughs> no! <laughs> Whew. They don't want me to be great, man. No temptation today. Almost got me. These are the foods I need to focus on in order to run fast at your meat. What's good, what's good? Welcome back to another episode of Kingsley TV. My name is Aaron Kingsley Brown. I post videos about the track and field experience and my life as a professional sprinter. So if you vibe with that, consider hitting that subscribe button and join me on the way to 25,000 subscribers. I'm currently sitting at the grocery store parking lot in Publix, as you can see here. As, as promised, like I said in the Florida Relays vlog, today's video is all about helping athletes know the best groceries to buy when you're on the road at a track meet. In a professional meet overseas, they provide the food buffet style, but in the local meet like Florida Relays, typically that's up to us to do our own grocery shopping and get our own supplies. So today I'm gonna to take you through a typical grocery shopping experience as a professional athlete and the best foods that I usually get before I compete. Before we head in, if you could smash that like button, subscribe to the channel to join me on the way to 25,000 subscribers. That's greatly appreciated. All right, let's head in. Produce is usually one of the first stops I make at the grocery store because it's generally near the front of the store and it's always good to get your fruits and veggies in. Apples are an ideal pre-workout snack. They are easy to pack and refreshing after a hard day of training because they are mostly made of water. I love to eat bananas in the morning for breakfast with my oatmeal because they are rich in nutrients like carbs and potassium which helps prevent cramping. Berries are great for natural antioxidants and contain carbohydrates with very little fat. The blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Fresh strawberries are one of my favorite berries and contain a good source of potassium. Blueberries are great for speeding up muscle recovery after a crazy workout. Raspberries are slept on, but they taste good and provide a lot of vitamin C. Blackberries are another great berry that's high in vitamin C, which is great for recovery. Grapes are one of the best fruits out there in my opinion, and can give you a good boost of energy pre-workout. The next stop is the vegetable section, which is the natural next step because they're right by the fruit section. Spinach is great if you want to make a salad or throw it in a sandwich, and it's also a great source of iron. Carrots are always a great snack that give you long-lasting energy to top off the glucose in your tank to carry you through those long intervals. Nuts are good because they provide energy, plant-based protein, gut-loving fiber, and essential nutrients to help enhance performance and recovery. Dark chocolate almonds are one of my go-to nuts. Milk chocolate almonds are one of my favorite nuts when I'm not in track season, but dark chocolate is healthier for you when you're in training. Cashews are a great salty snack that provides a lot of nutrients like vitamin K, zinc, and iron. Trail mix traditionally has a good balance of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, making it a perfect snack for runners. Snacks are essential for me as an athlete between meals. Here are some of my go-tos. Chips are one of the easiest things to snack on, but don't get carried away. More on this later. Granola is best known for being a source of carbohydrate to fuel the muscles and provide energy for a busy day. And they also go great with Greek yogurt.
Breakfast is a key meal for athletes because within 30 minutes of waking up, the body is looking to absorb energy from food so there is fuel for the body to work. Oatmeal is my breakfast every day when I'm at practice and it's very easy to maintain that routine on the road. Oats are full of magnesium, B vitamins, protein, and iron. I like to go for ones that are packed in protein. Next up is cereal, which has one of the easiest recipes to make. Don't go for that sugary trash though. Get something with protein that's a lot healthier for you. Not only is cereal super portable, it's full of carbohydrates and micronutrients that an athlete needs. And of course, don't forget the milk. Me personally, I like almond milk. Next we have bars. Sports bars work best as a snack before or after physical activity and give you great protein post-training and brace recovery. Sports bars can be a rich source of vitamins and minerals in addition to carbohydrates and protein. This is one of the most important things for me to get because I always have to have a good bar in me for recovery post-workout. Protein bars are easy to pack and give you great protein post-training and race recovery. You can do both pure protein bars or the ones with granola and dried fruit and are minimally processed. I like Nature Valley but this isn't a sponsored video so pick whatever you like best and just make sure it has a lot of protein content. When it comes to sports drinks, you always want to focus on the sodium content when thinking about electrolytes. The other elements in electrolytes are potassium, chloride, magnesium, and calcium. It's always good to have electrolyte packets with you because they're easy to bring if you need extra. So if you don't have any, this is the perfect time to stock up. Fruit smoothies are delicious and a great way to load up on nutrients quickly. Beet juice is like a shot of straight energy for the body before a workout. By consuming a beetroot shot, runners boost their nitrate levels, meaning their bodies are able to work more efficiently. So drink some two to three hours before competition. Tart cherry juice is amazing for recovery, and it also helps improve sleep with natural melatonin. Pro tip, I typically avoid going down the middle aisles because this is where you get trapped in areas where all the junk food is. Typically, if you stick to the outside areas of the grocery store, you're gonna be pretty safe. Only venture down those middle aisles if you read the titles up top and you know specifically what you're looking for. And if you don't have the restraint, wear a blindfold like in Bird Box. Dried mango has natural sugar to give you a boost of energy without the crash from that fake stuff. Applesauce is also not just for kids. It's great for athletes as a fast digesting portable snack. All right, let's talk about some snacks that are actually good for you. If you have a microwave where you're staying, popcorn is a great low calorie snack that provides fiber, carbs, and protein. Tortilla chips are a balanced mix of carbohydrates, protein, and fat that will keep you fueled all day. Salsa is low in fat and contains no cholesterol, and the tomatoes and bell peppers are high in antioxidants. Veggie chips are a better alternative to potato chips. Just make sure you check the ingredients to make sure it's actually better for you. Pretzels are a simple carb, so it digests quickly and give you a quick burst of energy. If you need help maintaining electrolytes that are lost through sweat, they can be a great snack to eat before, during, and after a race or training. Wheat thins provide carbohydrates for sustained energy. They also provide sodium to help replace the amounts of electrolytes that are lost in sweat. Dips and spreads are a great way to add some flavor to your snacks. Hummus is also better for you as an athlete thanks to the healthy fats, protein, iron, and vitamin B6 that it provides. Goldfish are pretty low calorie and have no added sugar, which is a definite plus when you're looking for a healthy snack. Edamame beans are rich in low calorie proteins, making it an ideal snack for athletes who are vegetarians. Going back to the healthy chip alternative, cauliflower chips and veggie straws are great picks. You could also consider things like beet chips, kale chips, things along those lines. Any chip that's made of vegetables is pretty much going to be good for you, but check the ingredients and make sure it's actually healthy. Another pro tip is to find healthy substitutes. The bakery is full of amazing sweets that are good for parties and comfort food, but not so much for running fast. Instead of cookies and chips, I eat biscuits and vegetable chips because of what I mentioned earlier. You gotta learn to love things that aren't so detrimental for your body. Like biscuits and digestive cookies. Those are great lightweight snacks that are good for you and can be addictive. Let's talk lunches. An easy lunch option that can save you a lot of money is making sandwiches. You can always go for a classic PB&J, the berries and the jelly have the same nutritional benefits that I mentioned earlier. Peanut butter is a great source of protein. Or swap out the peanut butter for almond butter. These nuts support heart health and muscle function. They're also high in vitamin E, magnesium, calcium, and copper. 
I like to use multigrain bread because it provides a lot more nutrients. You can also load up on sandwich meat and cheese and other vegetables to make it more nutritious. Add some avocado to help build muscle because avocados contribute to reducing body fat. Greek yogurt goes great with the fruit that you got earlier and the granola pieces. It's high in protein to assist with muscle recovery and a good source of probiotics for gut health. If you pair it with a piece of fruit, you have a perfect balance of protein and carbs to fuel your body pre or post workout. Here we have almond milk like I mentioned earlier for your cereal. I made the switch over from regular milk and taste wise I can never go back. We also have chocolate milk which is high in protein and is a great post recovery drink. Kobe Jack cheese is a solid choice amongst all the other high protein cheeses. Chicken breast sandwich meat is another great source of protein. If your grocery store has it, consider a grab and go prepared lunch like a salad or a wrap. If your grocery store also has a deli, those are great choices for lunches. In my grocery store at Publix, they have the pub subs which are undefeated. Ask anyone in the area and you'll find out. If you have an oven, some grocery stores have pre-made meals that all you need to do is heat them up. Lastly, we always want to have water. I bring a reusable water bottle with me just in case. Most pro meats will have a water sponsor and will provide water for you, but with local meats, this responsibility may fall on you. You can always buy a flat of water and split it with your teammates, but if you're in a really hot environment, you're probably going to need all that water for yourself. A choice of water depends on personal preference for what kind of taste you like. Oh, and one more thing. When you're checking out, resist the urge to add those last minute candy bars at the checkout line. They try to get you, but hold strong. So, so far in this video, I showed you the typical groceries that I buy when I'm on the road and competing at a local track meet. If you enjoyed this type of content, then hit this athlete playlist right here for more similar videos or hit this video right here that YouTube recommends. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to join me on the way to 25,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Things we say cheese. Cheese.